Good morning. Welcome to Salina Regional's Morning Medical. I'm Mike Maddock. Today's program, I have with me Kristen Heimer. Uh, Kristen is a clinical therapist with Viridian Behavioral Health. Thank you for being on the show. Um, I've had you on the show before, kind of talking kind of a general overview, but today we're going to dive into a little bit more specific, um, and that's maybe overcoming a traumatic event. Um, and I think originally I kind of thought of maybe just childhood, but I think that maybe encompasses more than that. Yeah, um, it, trauma can look like a variety of different things. A situation that might be traumatizing for one person may not be traumatizing for another. Um, early childhood experiences uh, are crucial in terms of our ability to process trauma, um, be resilient through difficulties. Um, so early childhood messages um, you know, are thought to create a, a much more significant impact on a person. So. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about geriatrics and, you know, there was a lot of um, messages that, that some of my geriatric patients have, which is, uh, you know, I, crying's not okay or, um, you know, the way to, to cope with things is to try to forget it. But, you know, here they are 60 years later, you know, talking about a situation that um, continues uh, to come up in their, their mind. What are they feeling right now or what are they thinking right now that makes them, that make you think that maybe talking to somebody might help yeah. out? So um, if someone's in a situation and they have a, a feeling of I'm not safe, you know, I'll go back and look for times in their life where they haven't felt safe. Okay. And typically um, what we find is there might be a pattern of this feeling. Um, and so therapy would uh, encompass uh, processing and talking about kind of the original event where a person might not have felt safe or uh, where maybe they receive the message, I'm not allowed to feel, you know, so um, they've bottled it up, which we know leads to, uh, can lead to uh, health issues. And I think so much of it, and I'm sure you deal with this, you know, more than anybody, is the stigma of behavioral health, too, is that, and that might be some of those populations that aren't as, as apt to come to a therapist. Yes. I mean, how do you deal with that? Yeah, um, I think mental health has become more, um, you know, people are more open to it uh, and it's much more talked about. My younger patients, um, you know, will get into therapy and they'll open up, you know, right away. Or some of those patients who uh, received the message as a child that it wasn't okay to talk about things or we don't talk about things outside our family system. Um, those are patients that it can take a little while to just build that trust. and. Right. And, and sh you know, as they start to feel better, they, they start to move on from the stigma. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.